everybody and welcome to this playthrough for Pro Division in the Great Outdoors a Tournament. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic, so let's go. Before we start, go to golfclashtommy.com, check out the content there for all the tours, but also, obviously, for the Great Outdoors a Tournament. Also, sign up on patreon.com slash golfclashtommy to get the updated text guides that will help you be getting a better score in the tournament. And last but not least, don't forget to thumbs up if you do like the guide that you're gonna see. Timestamp you can find in the video description down below, so if you don't want to listen to this intro, you just press for the timestamp for hold 1 and just get going. In this playthrough, I'm going to go over all the holes in Pro Division. I'm going to give you a short, sweet playthrough with shots that I think is going to help you uh, playing safe but also aggressive at the same time and if you do have any questions let me know that in the comment section below and we will take you from there so let's go shot number one for hole number one is 20 percent downhill so two zero we use max top spin with our extra mile level seven which gives us four and a half bars you could see here that I'm changing to a katana, but I'm changing back to a titan again because I feel that we do want to gain as much distance as possible. And in a best case scenario, we're going to give ourselves a very short long iron or a short iron towards the pin. Max overpower, as we don't really have any restrictions on how far we want to go, we just want to go as far as possible. And then the max overpower is going to be the trick there. Second shot, we're going to play 10% downhill. So we do need to over adjust this shot as well. And you can see that we are not really in medium distance of our club, but kind of somewhere in between, in between minimum and medium distance. Using max backspin on our Goliath. And here it is very important, I would say, to use a long iron that gives you minimum five bars of backspin. So an upgraded Goliath, upgrade the backbone, upgrade the Saturn would be the better clubs here for this type of shot. And then we're going to want the ball to bounce on the fairway before the green, second bounce on the green, and then in the best of the worlds we're going to get it in for an eagle. Getting it very close, but that makes us just be, ah, uh, ah, uh, we do want to dial that way going forward. Here for hole and number two, 30% downhill, 3-0, and we're going to go for the rough bump. Here it's very important that you do play with a power 3 ball because you do need the distance from start. Going with a power 2 ball or below is going to make you go in between clubs. Two bars of side spin to the right and then we're going to play in the end with four bars of top spin. And we aiming and starting at plus 2 yard mark with half of the red ring outside on the fairway. And then we're going to play 7.9 rings which is maximum distance with a 30% over adjustment. And the reason I play the rough bump is that that is by far the best chance for us to get a hole in one. A little bit more topspin from the spot there, to like to go with four and a half bar topspin, then I think that would have been in the hole. Hole number three, 20% extra, two zero. And then we're going to aim with half of the red ring inside the rough there to the right, using four and a half bar topspin and as much side spin to the right possible. And then we're going to play maximum distance with the 20% extra. And last but not least, we need to use some curl. I would estimate this as half of the ball outside the adjustment ring to the right. And the reason we don't want to use more is that we do not want this ball to go into the bunker in the center. We do want to be in between the rough and the sand. For the second shot now, we're going to play with the sniper. And here, you can choose yourself. Do you want to take an even safer route, play with the big dog, or play with a lower level cataclysm so you know that you're not going to go in between clubs no matter what, or not in between clubs, but you're not going to have to overpower no matter what happens. Nothing extra for elevation, so a big zero for that. And then we're going to play maximum distance, together with as much side spin to the right possible and I like to play with a smidge of backspin here to make sure that I actually have a shot for the pin. This is a very tough approach so do not be mad if you are not getting an albatross because the 99.9% .9 of the player base is not going to get an, hole, uh, an albatross on hole number 3. 
Hole number four and it's rough bump time. There is a lot of rough bumps in this tournament and here is one of them. Two and a half bar backspin and here I'm going to aim directly at the pin. And the thing that I'm looking for here is to get a consistent type of roll towards the pin which is hard to get on this hole. And I'm going to adjust this one for 1 to 1 minus 0 0.3 which is 4.9 rings. In the end here with our adjustment I do feel that for us playing 1 to 1 here would be the better suggestion. So whatever the wind says play it 1 to 1. So 5.2 as wind then we played 5.2 rings. Because we are going to miss this one just slightly to the right even though it's a very good shot. 10% extra is the elevation number for hole number 4. Now for hole number 5 we're going to play aggressive. We're going to play with 4.5 bar topspin combined with as much side spin to the right possible. And I'm looking for the ball to be bouncing on the right side first but then I change my mind and play there to the left. Trying to get into the center. It's a tough line that I'm taking but the thing that I'm looking at is that even if I would be missing the fairway on the other side here and going to the sand or into the rough I would still be able to reach even though it would be a tough shot but if I can make the drive as I'm doing here then I have a decent shot towards the pin 10% extra very important with your drive Second shot is going to be tough no matter where you end up it's going to be super tough for you to get a consistent way of approaching the pin. I'm trying to use as much side spin as possible combined with four bars of backspin. And then we're going to get this ball to, what can I say, approaching the pin directly. No elevation adjustment when we are so far away. If we would be closer towards the rough line, then we need to under adjust our shot. We do need to play it uphill as the hill there, yes, you can see there by the bunker in front, is going to be having an effect on our shot. But now we are, when we are so far away, that's not necessary, though therefore we play it zero. We go to hole number six here, and here we once again going to play with overpower. And the reason we're going to play with overpower is that we do want to give ourselves a chance reaching over to the fairway on top. And the tailwind does help. 20% extra is the elevation here. It's not that important as it is a straight tailwind for us, but it's very good to know if you're going to play this hole in tour play or something like that. I'm just using max top spin and I used to play with a couple of bars of side spin to the right because if I do hit great to the left, I want to stay on the green. Second shot here, now we're going to play with no extra elevation and I know I've been going and saying that this one should be played 10% extra but I'm changing my mind here and we play this one zero. Two and a half bar topspin here like two to two and a half the important part is to play with the ball guideline going directly at the pin and in this case we're going to get our adjustment done and then we're going to take our shot. I do believe that the rough bump is absolutely the best way here to get the, the albatross here from distance, but it will take a little time to dial it in. We are going to move on and go to hole number seven, and here we're going to play with the Goliath and with a side spin three ball. I can't stress that enough, side spin three. And we're going to use around half a bar of backspin because we still need some type of stop when it comes to the backspin. And as you can see here as well, I'm using the yellow ring being very close to the rough line here. And I would say that you should uh, move the yellow ring completely towards the rough line there. And then we're going to play maximum distance with a 10% over adjustment and then take our shot. The ball is going to come in very nicely here, but we're going to still miss that one slightly to the right. That's why I said yellow ring as a start just by the rough line there to the right. Hole number eight, quarterback or the rock. That doesn't matter which one you use, but we do want the accuracy, we do want the ball guideline, and it's actually giving you a chance with this type of win to actually get this ball in the hole directly. Not something that we expect but something that we're at least uh, going to yeah, help ourselves to get the ball to the green or very close to the green. 
and then take it from there. We're going to play this one 10% extra, very important. And we're going to use all from uh, three to five bars of top spin combined with side spin to the left. The reason I'm using the side spin to the left is to make sure that if I hit great right, I'm not gonna go into the sand because sand is the worst place ever to be on. So a part four where there should be an eagle. 10% extra, one zero for the approach on hole number eight. Hole number nine, here I think it's big topper time. If you're having only four and a half bars topspin on your driver, but you do have a big topper, play with a big topper. You can, in this case, play with a power three ball as I'm showing here, but you can as well play with power four or with a power five ball to give you more distance. I would say whatever you feel comfortable with, the only thing to have in mind with a power three ball is that you will have to give your shot some overpower because otherwise we're going to go short even with a big topper and then there is no need to use the big topper if we even gonna go short. Nothing extra for elevation for the first shot. Second shot here, we're going to play with max top spin and also max side spin to the right here. I would say that the reason I'm using the right side spin is that we are slightly short with our, uh, our wood club. So here you also have a decision. The sniper will definitely be easier for you to use for the rough bump, but it might be wiser to play with a different club that gives you a little bit more distance so you know, don't have to overpower your shot. That's kind of the worst type of scenario in my opinion. So we go with a slight overpower and the plan here now when we do have to go with overpower when we didn't reach as far as we wanted to with our drive then it's just to get this ball on the green and then just take it for what it is. 10% extra for the second shot. So this was the playthrough for Pro Division and in the great outdoors tournament. Hope you learned something and if you do have questions let me know in the comment section below. Also use the contact form on the website golfclashtommy.com to uh, send in your questions or, or feedback or whatever. Uh, also sign up for the updated text guides on Patreon. Link in the video description below. Otherwise, uh, patreon.com slash golfclashtommy. Video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Play Demic. And I say thank you for watching and good luck in the tournament.